Vision is really probably the most important of the special senses in terms of how we touch the world. Our world has become more and more very visually oriented. More than half of our brain is devoted towards vision, towards our eyes. We see with our brain, but the retina are the fingertips of the brain out into the environment. The retina is the only place that you can actually witness the finest metabolic activity of the body. It's a window into a lot of diseases. What drives me is wanting to fix people, to give people the pleasure of sight. When Dr. Rosenthal introduced the indirect ophthalmoscope here at the infirmary, it changed our ability to see the retina. He changed the repair of retinas from being somewhere about 20% successful to close to 90% successful. One of his trainees, Dr. Thomas Muldoon, later assumed the role of being the, the chief of retina, and he built our modern retina center. He had this vision for creating a place that basically would encompass all of the different diagnostics and therapeutic aspects of treating retinal disease from training residents and fellows to treating patients and research in terms of new techniques. Having everything in one place is the ideal model for the patient. Patients very often come for generations. The conditions we treat in the retina service are retinal detachments, various forms of vascular occlusive disease, age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, hereditary retinal disease, strange inflammatory diseases. Diabetes used to be a sentence of blindness. Now we've made important strides in terms of controlling many of the forms of macular degeneration. The ability to do gene therapy, the ability to implant new cells, the ability to repair really fine details within the retina itself really gave us the ability to give people back their lives. It's very exciting and brings a lot of hope to the future.